what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Police patrols were stepped up at New York Mosque and Islamic centers in response to fears that an anti-Muslim campaign that originated in the UK could spread to the city. In March, a letter began circulating in the UK that said April 3rd had been designated, as get this y'all, punished a Muslim day. It laid out a points-based reward system for violence carried out against Muslims that included 50 points for throwing acid in the face of a Muslim, and 1,000 points to burn or bomb a mosque. This campaign was opposed with another campaign entitled Love a Muslim Day. No doubt that police, well at least some police, but the entire Muslim community is breathing a sigh of relief because no such attacks occurred. Now I say some police because some of those police, they are part of that Nazi type movement. They with it. <laughs> How do a civilized society allow something like this to happen? You know, something like that should have been like an attack on humanity, right? Like, you put out something like that, you automatically get hunted down and thrown into a cage like the animal you are. That's what should have happened. But nobody, as far as I know, has been arrested. Like, freedom of speech should only go so far, man. You can't incite violence. People that go around spreading hate, trying to incite violence, shouldn't be allowed to walk among the civilized. Their asses should be caged. Put in a cage like an animal. And I'm not even talking about a regular decent animal or what would they call those domestic animals. I'm talking about the wild ass animal that cannot be trusted, that just cannot live among people. This is why you have so much dissent in the world, man. You got these people who work in government, who in law enforcement, who allow people like that to get away with this stuff. In fact, it's probably somebody in government or on the police force that put it out in the first place. Because it's a lot of them, y'all. I'm talking about, I'm telling you, it's not rare. It's a whole lot of them that rock like that. They all over the place. How many times a week do somebody right here in the U.S. get fired who worked for the police department for writing something incendiary on their uh, social media accounts or posting something crazy or saying something that's way off you know, something that's really, really hateful attacking a group. How often does that occur? Now, some of you might say, well, damn, Will, I, I didn't know that was going down, so I hadn't heard of it until you said something about it. Well, that's the point, because I don't think some people say, well, if you don't talk about it, nobody would know. Yeah, they would know, because like I say, this went viral. So maybe you missed it, but a whole lot of people didn't. And some fool might just take them up on that offer. And even though anything, nothing happened on April 3rd, at least nothing was reported, doesn't mean that somebody is not going to use that message in the near future. Because it's a lot of people out there just, quite frankly, are off their rockers. They don't have their own mind. They have to have somebody else to stick that key in their back and wind them up because they don't think for themselves. 
Look how many people that do Richard is a Spencer, I believe, the, the leader of the white nationalists. Look how many people that follow him. And he's a coward. Dumber than a bag of rocks. I seen him get on Roland Martin once and try to debate Roland Martin. And Roland Martin ate his ass up. I mean, he couldn't defend nothing he was saying. But that's what happens when you base your whole philosophy and all of your teachings off lies. Anybody that know the history, anybody that know the truth, they're going to eat you alive every time. But a person who don't know their history, a person who don't know the truth, you can get over on them. You can tell them anything and they'll believe it. And that's the type of dudes who follow these kind of people. So... I don't think that this type of uh, language should be be allowed, man. I hear people saying freedom of speech, freedom of speech is all, all that's good, you know, but to incite hate, actually to di direct hate, like telling people, like, hey, go do this and we're going to give you some points. You go throw some acid in somebody, come on, man. That need to be some severe punishment levied against whoever put this stuff out there. And then if somebody go and act on it, they should get double just for being a damn fool. Being that damn dumb. There's a lot of angry people out here, man. I'm just reading some of the other stuff here. Um, yeah, there's a lot of, lot of angry people out here. A lot of angry people in the world. And the trip part about it is most of the people that are angry they take out their frustrations and their anger on people who ain't never did nothing to them. But I believe in that vengeance, man. You know, hey, man, if, if it ain't working out, man, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. So, you know, don't, don't run around here and be, be afraid of these cowards. That's what they want you to do. I, I just don't believe that people that, that cross that line should be protected. I don't think, I think the way you get rid of that fool is make an example out of him. The first one that do it, make an example out of him. And that'll let the next one know because really that's what's happening. When they see one doing it and that one get a slap on the wrist or they don't get any punishment at all, it emboldens them and say, oh, you know what? That kind of look like, kind of look cool. But man, if you get dead on their ass, and you inflict that pain, that punishment, 10 times more than what they dished out, that's how you slow it down. You can't do it alone with the government. You can't wait on the government to do it because they've they shown you time and time again that they're not going to protect you. You got to protect yourself. The government is not going to protect you. You got to protect yourself. So when we see people doing this type of stuff and, and engaging in this type of behavior. What does that say to our children? Even how people are talking down to those kids, the Parkland kids who was protesting, and not just them, but all of the kids who walked out uh, to protest gun, gun violence. Grown people talking bad about these children. These, these are, this is the youth. This is the future. And they talking about these kids. They calling these kids everything but a child of God. This is grown folks trying to demoralize, demoralize the youth. Shitting on the youth. What, what kind of world you think we're going to lead these kids? Man. What kind of message are we sending to the youth? Think about that, man. You got to support the youth, no matter what you think of the youngsters. You got to get behind them and support them. You can't save all of them. But, man, it's an old saying. You get more bees with honey than you do vinegar. No more talk. What the haters talking about? Yeah.